Further, it's not working, you know, at a cost of five to 10 times that of a traditional systems. AI is extremely expensive. It takes specialized processors. If you're running on a cloud, it's extremely, um, you know, resource intensive. Um, that's all fine if you're able to solve a particular business problem where those resource source expenditures will be able to pay for themselves. But what's what's happening now, they're just using technology for technology's sake. And that that never ends well. That seems to be a common problem. We seem to come back to about every, you know, five to 10 years. And we're seeing it right now in a big way. And in my big bugaboo, the reliance on technical success metrics instead of business impact causes misaligned priorities and disappointing results. This is the it works stuff. <laughs> in other words, you know, auditing projects, I look at this and I then I say, okay, are you using a genetic based framework, you know, to solve an inventory depletion problem or a supply chain integration problem? And it's not necessarily delivering the value. And the team will come back with this comeback. Well, it works. <laughs> okay, I get it. It works. You can make anything work, so it work with enough time and money, you know, but is it optimized to return business value? Is it finding a particular use case? where the AI systems are going to generate revenue for the company, going to generate value for the company. And that's what's missing now. And if you look at the MIT report, it's gotten bad out there. Never have I seen in my career 95% failure rate uh, in terms of failing to return ROI back to the business 